Let me begin by sharing a fundamental truth. Everything in your world is you pushed out. Every person, every relationship, every interaction is but a reflection of your own consciousness made manifest. When people suddenly change in your world, they are responding to changes within your own consciousness, whether you are aware of it or not. Now, let me tell you a story from the scripture that beautifully illustrates this principle. In the book of Genesis, we read about Jacob who wrestled with an angel through the night. This is not a historical event, but a psychological drama playing out in consciousness. Jacob wrestled alone, and through this solitary battle, he was transformed. His name was changed to Israel, which means he who rules as God. This story is speaking about you, about your journey of transformation. The wrestling match represents the internal struggle we all face when we must stand alone in our consciousness, when those around us seem to change or depart from our lives. Consider this, every person in your life is playing a role in accordance with your assumptions about them. When these assumptions change, when your consciousness shifts, they must by law change their role in your drama. This is not something to fear, but to understand deeply. I remember a lady who came to me in distress. She said, Neville, everyone in my life has changed. My friends have become strangers. My family seems distant. What am I to do? I told her what I tell you now. This is not a tragedy, but an opportunity to discover the greatest discovery of your life, the discovery of your own divinity. You see, when people suddenly change, when relationships transform, it is life itself compelling you to stand alone in your imagination. It is pushing you toward the realization that you are the operant power, the only reality. Everything else is a shadow a reflection of your own wonderful human imagination. Let me make this clear with another scriptural reference. In the book of John, Jesus says, I have overcome the world. What world? The world of external dependencies, the world of seeking fulfillment in others. He recognized that he and the Father, the human imagination are one. Now, some of you might be thinking, but Neville, I didn't want these changes. I didn't want people to leave or transform. But I tell you this, your surface desires are not always aligned with the deeper movements of your consciousness. Your inner conversations, your habitual assumptions, these are the true sculptors of your reality. When someone suddenly changes in your experience, look first to your own consciousness. What assumptions have you been harboring? What inner conversations have you been having? For it is these that shape your world, not the other way around. I recall a gentleman who attended my lectures in New York. He was distraught because his business partner of 20 years had suddenly turned against him. But upon examination, we discovered that for months he had been carrying an assumption of betrayal, playing out scenarios of distrust in his imagination. The external change was merely the manifestation of his own inner drama. This brings us to a crucial point. The art of surviving alone is not about isolation, but about self-reliance in consciousness. It's about understanding that you are the author of your experience and everyone else is simply playing their part in your script. Consider the biblical injunction, put not your trust in princes. This is not telling you to distrust others, but to place your trust in the one and only reality, your own wonderful human imagination. For when you truly grasp this, you will never be alone, for you cannot be separated from your own consciousness. Now, let me share with you the practical application of this knowledge. When you notice people changing around you instead of reacting with fear or resistance, do this stand firmly in the awareness that you are the operant power. Your consciousness is the only reality. Begin to have new inner conversations. Instead of lamenting the changes, say to yourself, I am the creator of my reality. These changes are moving me toward my greater good. For remember, the whole vast world is yourself pushed out. Every person is yourself in another costume. I want you to understand something profound. The sudden changes in others are often a signal that you are ready for a greater revelation of your own power. Just as a butterfly must struggle alone to emerge from its chrysalis, you too must sometimes face the apparent solitude that precedes transformation. Let me tell you another story that illustrates this principle. There was a woman who attended my lectures in Los Angeles. She had built her entire life around her social circle circle, her relationships. 
When these began to change and dissolve, she fell into despair. But through understanding this law, she discovered something remarkable, her own divine nature. She began to practice what I'm sharing with you tonight. Instead of seeking validation or support from others, she turned within. She began to live from the assumption that she was complete, whole, and divinely supported. And do you know what happened? New relationships emerged, better ones aligned with her new self-concept. This is the law as within, so without. The changes you see in others are reflecting changes in your own consciousness. Therefore, instead of trying to hold on to people or prevent change, focus on standing firmly in your own wonderful human imagination. Remember the words from scripture, be still and know that I am God. This stillness is not physical stillness, but a quiet confidence in your own consciousness as the creative power in your world. When you know this, truly know it, you cannot be disturbed by external changes. Now, let me address something that many of you might be wondering, what about love? What about connection? I tell you this, true love, true connection comes from the recognition that everyone in your world is you pushed out. When you love yourself, when you trust your own consciousness, you will naturally attract and maintain relationships that reflect this self-love. But here's the crucial point. These relationships will be different. They will no longer be based on dependency or fear, but on the recognition of your own completeness. People may still change, but these changes will no longer threaten your peace of mind. Consider this in the Bible, Jesus often withdrew to be alone. This was not about physical solitude, but about returning to the consciousness of being the operant power. When you can do this, when you can stand alone in your imagination, you have mastered the art of living. Let me give you a practical exercise. Tonight, when you go to sleep, instead of reviewing the changes and apparent losses in your life, do this. Live from the assumption that you are complete, whole, and divinely supported. Feel the truth of it. Fall asleep in this consciousness. For remember, your consciousness is the only reality. The people in your world are playing roles based on your assumptions. When these assumptions change, their roles must change. This is law. I want to share with you another profound truth. The ability to stand alone in your imagination is the greatest power you possess. It is the meaning behind the scripture, the kingdom of heaven is within you. When you grasp this, when you live from this understanding, external changes lose their power to disturb you. Think about this, everything you see in the world, every person, every relationship is a shadow cast by your consciousness. When the light of consciousness shifts, the shadows must move. This is not something to fear, but to embrace. Now, some of you might be thinking, but Neville, what if I'm not ready to be alone? I tell you this, you are never truly alone. You are one with your own wonderful human imagination. And this is the only reality that matters. The changes you see in others are actually helping you discover this truth. They are pushing you toward the recognition of your own divinity. For remember, the whole vast world is yourself pushed out. Let me share one more story that illustrates this principle. A man came to me devastated because his entire social circle had suddenly turned against him. But through applying this law, through standing alone in his imagination, he discovered something remarkable. He found that as his consciousness shifted, as he began to live from the assumption of being divinely supported, new relationships naturally emerged that reflected this new state. This is the law your outer world must conform to your inner assumptions. When people suddenly change, when relationships transform, it is life itself compelling you to examine and adjust your consciousness. Remember the words of scripture, I and my father are one. The father is your own wonderful human imagination. When you know this, when you live from this understanding, you cannot be shaken by external changes. So tonight, I urge you to embrace these changes. See them as the natural result of your own expanding consciousness. Stand alone in your imagination, knowing that it is the only reality that matters. For when you can do this, when you can truly stand alone in your consciousness, you will discover that you are never truly alone. You are one with the creative power of the universe, your own wonderful human imagination. And from this understanding, this recognition of your own divine nature, you will create 
relationships and experiences that reflect your highest assumptions about yourself and life. Remember the whole vast world is yourself pushed out. Every person is yourself in another costume. When you grasp this, when you live from this truth, you will have mastered the art of living. So let people change. Let relationships transform. Stand firmly in your own consciousness, knowing that you are the operant power, the only reality that matters. For in this understanding lies true freedom, true peace and true mastery of life. And so I tell you this profound truth again. When you truly grasp that you are the operant power, that your consciousness is God in action, these sudden changes in people become not just understandable, but necessary for your spiritual evolution. Consider what we read in Ecclesiastes. To everything there is a season. These seasons of change, these moments when people suddenly transform or depart from your life are divine appointments in consciousness. They are not happening to you. They are happening from you. I recall a striking incident from my own experience in Barbados. A dear friend who had been constant in my life for many years suddenly became a stranger. At first, like many of you might feel, I was bewildered. But then I realized this change was reflecting a shift in my own consciousness. I was being prepared for a greater understanding of the law. You see, when people suddenly change, it is often a signal that you are ready to move into a new state of consciousness. Just as a snake must shed its old skin to grow, you must sometimes let go of old relationships and patterns to embody your new state. Let me share with you another principle, your inner conversations create your tomorrow. When people suddenly change, examine your inner conversations about them. What have you been telling yourself? For remember, the whole vast world is yourself pushed out. I remember a young woman who came to me in New York. She was distraught because her in her life seemed to be turning away from her simultaneously. But when we examined her inner conversations, we discovered that for months she had been repeating to herself, no one understands me. I must do everything alone. Do you see? Her outer world was simply conforming to her inner conversations. This is law, not chance. Now some of you might ask, but Neville, how do I maintain my stability when everyone around me is changing? The answer lies in understanding that stability comes not from external circumstances, but from your consciousness of being the operant power. Consider the words of Paul, I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. This is not resignation, but the recognition that your consciousness is the only reality. When you stand firm in this understanding, external changes lose their power to disturb you. Let me give you a practical technique for mastering this state of consciousness. Tonight, as you lay in your bed, instead of reviewing the day's events or worrying about changing relationships, do this. Feel the reality of being the consciousness in which all things exist. Feel the truth that you are the awareness in which all changes take place. For remember, consciousness is the only reality. Everything else, every person, every relationship, every circumstance is an effect, not a cause. When you live from this understanding, you become immune to the fear of sudden changes. I want to share with you a profound truth that few understand. The people who suddenly change or leave your life are actually helping you discover your own completeness. They are pushing you toward the recognition that you are sufficient unto yourself because you are one with your own wonderful human imagination. Think about this in the story of the prodigal son. The young man had to lose everything, his relationships, his wealth, his status before he could discover his true inheritance. This story is about you, about your journey to self-discovery through apparent loss and change. Now, let me address something that many of you might be struggling with, the fear of being alone. This fear comes from not understanding that you can never be alone because you are one with the creative power of the universe, your own wonderful human imagination. I remember a man who attended my lectures in San Francisco. He had built his entire identity around his social circle and professional relationships. When these began to crumble, he felt as though his world was ending. But through applying this law, through standing alone in his imagination, he discovered something remarkable, his own divine nature. You see, when people suddenly change, they are actually helping you fulfill a deeper pattern in consciousness. 
They are playing their part in your spiritual awakening, whether they know it or not. Consider the biblical story of Joseph. His brother suddenly turned against him, sold him into slavery. But this apparent betrayal was actually the means by which he discovered his true power and fulfilled his divine destiny. Your story is no different. When people change, when relationships transform, it is life itself compelling you to stand in your own divinity. It is pushing you toward the recognition that you are the author of your experience, not a victim of circumstances. Remember these words, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. This transformation often requires the dissolution of all patterns, all relationships, all ways of being. When people suddenly change, they are reflecting this inner transformation. Let me give you another practical application of this law. Instead of resisting these changes, instead of trying to hold on to people who are clearly moving in a different direction, do this. Stand firmly in the consciousness of being the operant power. Know that you are the awareness in which all things exist. For remember, the whole vast world is yourself pushed out. Every person who suddenly changes is reflecting a change in your own consciousness, whether you are aware of it or not. I want you to grasp something profound. These sudden changes in relationships are actually opportunities for the greatest discovery of your life, the discovery of your own divine nature. When you understand this, when you live from this truth, you become invincible to external changes. Consider the words of scripture, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. This is not about blind faith in an external God, but about absolute confidence in your own wonderful human imagination, regardless of external circumstances. Remember, you are not a victim of these changes. You are the creator of your reality and everyone in your world is playing their part in your divine drama. When you grasp this, when you live from this understanding, you become master of your destiny.